Hello and welcome to this new OPSI video. My name is Martin Scalese and today I'm going to be presenting to you the new OPSI release 407 with updates and features. So let's dive down onto it. The highlights of it, we can mention for example the support for new server versions, the rework from OPSI components, OPSI configured boot image, a brand new kiosk client, as well as improvements on the configuration management and for the Opsi Linux support 15 free starts for the Opsi Linux client engine and uh, support for uh, further releases. So talking about the server versions that we now support we can mention for example Ubuntu 16.04 slash 11 SP4 slash 12 SP1 and I'm going to show you later on uh, uh, support matrix which will give you a bigger overview of it but now let's go to config ed uh, on the config ed we have an integrated uh, scheduler for the wake land we have um, we actually built it and then we also have a new password feature which will not show any more the passwords on the config ed, uh, interface so uh, let me just uh, go ahead here on the config ed and show you what I mean first of all the config ed, the wake on LAN scheduler here wake clients new scheduler that's right and uh, you can see here I can set a specific time frame on which the specific client can be wake uh, can be one or more than one you just have to select it and uh, let me just cancel that and go to the netboot products tab and show you here as you can see the root password now is hidden and it will the text field will only become visible if you edit it so this is, it is a really interesting feature and really useful as well but let's go back to the presentation I want to talk to you a little bit more about the new features as well for example the select list for Opsi servers on login uh, the new entry on the main menu window, the expanded search function as well as the extended functions for groups and the tree view. So we have a lot of ground to cover. Let's go ahead and continue with it. Uh, let's see, the Opsi client agent for example. We had a brand new kiosk client uh, which is going to be replacing the old client, kiosk client, as well as we have repaired the installation sequence and uh, we have these new functions to handle JSON's expressions as well as functions to process handling. Um, let me show you first of all what I mean here with a client kiosk. You can see the software here, right? And uh, this user can set up simply the action to s install a specific software, for example, 7CPU or set store actions, and a pop up will come and will ask me if I want to install the, the software now or our, uh, a next standard event uh, which will mean for example a reboot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and I'm going to save this as none and a second pop-up will come and will tell me that there is no action set for it just as information that's right and uh, let me show you here about on the release notes for the JSON expressions that I mentioned before earlier, chapter 14, yeah, here, here it is. So these functions are used to analyze or to modify strings or string lists uh, from JSON expressions, of course. And you can use that, for example, to uh, work with the service call sections and the opposite service methods. And then there is the process and script related functions uh, which includes these shellcodes that you should actually take a look at because uh, they're really useful as well. So let's go back to our presentation so we can talk a little bit more about the next steps here. Let's see, just a second there. So yeah, there is a small screenshot which you can also see details from the software as well. I wanted to mention that before from the client kiosk and you can see the details there. And which will lead me, of course, to our next Opsi Linux support feature. And it, is, uh, it features the automatic install from Linux systems as well as the configuration from these systems. We have also for this uh, purpose uh, the free installation via Opsi and also 15 free starts for the Opsi Linux agent. Uh, let me show you here a special package that we have, for example. It's called LOPSI Server. 
and when you install this package with on a freshly installed Linux, this will allow you to actually easily install a Opsi server at ease, actually. You just need the system update and the Opsi server and it will perform the install. Password is still hidden and yeah, you can actually install it as well. This is really interesting and also very practical. So that will, of course, lead me to our next overview of the support for the clients. But let's just jump out into the price for the extensions as well, because our Linux clients, of course, uh, have a price for the Linux agent uh, after these 15 free starts. There is the price tier that you can take a look at that. And remember that you can always check our websites, opsi.org or uib.de. I thank you for your attention. I wish you a good day. And until next time.